Hello everyone, this is Christy. In today's short video, I would like to show you how you can fit text on a curve or on a shape in Zara Designer Pro X. This is a very easy thing to achieve and there are quite a lot of things that are flexible in Zara to do this and it gives you a lot of flexibility even after you fitted the text to the curve. So let's have a look how to do it. The first thing, we will try and fit the text on a circle. So I'm going to just go to the text tool and type some text. This is text on a circle. This is my text and we will leave it with the default font. And from the shape tool, I'm going to select the shape tool and choose the circle ellipse tool or circle and drawing a circle like this. I am going to make the circle without a fill, but I'm going to make a, an outline for it of about two pixels. And let's leave it, uh, let's leave the outline uh, red, for example, so that we can see what's going on. And it's very simple in Zara. This is the text, this is the shape. Select both of them by using the selection tool and selecting all around both of them. And then you can right click and select fit text to curve. There you go, this is your text. And you can move the resulting object wherever you like. You can remove the outline. So if you do none, your circle disappears, but your text remains on the curve. You haven't actually lost your circle, it's still there, so you can put the outline back on. You can even change the color for the entire ensemble. This is when you click the color, you can change the color of the uh, circle or the color of the text, replace it. You can make the, uh, the uh, color of the outline a different color. And what is very nice, and this is also true for when your text is on a different type of shape. So um, let me do another text just to show you. Uh, this is text on a shape. And we will just draw a, just a shape using the shape tool. And I'm just gonna draw a few lines here, make a curve, make like a hillside kind of thing anyway, wavy line, it doesn't really matter. And um, let's see. So I'm going to fit that text onto this line, select both of them. You can hold down the shift key to select both objects. Again, right click and fit text to curve. There you go, this is my text. Now, what I wanted to mention was when you fit text on a shape, as soon as you don't convert the text to shape, you still have the flexibility of changing the text and the font and the text properties. So for example, this is my text on a circle. If I go to the text tool and click on my text, I have the freedom to edit my text, select it. So if I want to type something more, this is more text on a circle. You can see how the text remains editable. And if I go to the font gallery, select installed fonts, double click on a font, you will see that it changes my font on the actual curve, right? So you still have that flexibility of editing your text, even though it is on a curve. And also you can change the alignment. So what happens is your shape behaves just like it is a line of text. So that means if I click inside of my text with the text tool and I change the alignment, for example, you will see that the text, if I click on the center alignment, center justify, my text is aligned to the center of the line. So the line is treated as a paragraph, as a line of text, and the edges of the line actually behave like a, the edges of a line of text. So if I, if I choose right, it's gonna to go to the right, left to the left, center to the center. So that's, that's what happens. So if I, if I keep typing, what happens is, if I keep typing and my text actually goes out of my shape, it will continue to go f in the direction of the end of the line. So as you can see here, the end of the line points downwards, my text is going to continue on a straight line in that direction, right? So if I keep adding spaces here, 
um, it will just follow the line at the end. So another thing that you can do is, since I have it here on the on the line, if you want to keep your line but uh, visible, but would like the text to be separated from the line, uh, you know, maybe raised up, you can actually change this by selecting the text. And if you look on the bar here, when you have the text tool selected, you have these options here. Like I said in other videos, you actually can change properties of your tool or selected object according to the tool you have selected on the top bar. So this bar now includes paragraph options, capitalization, ligatures, all these stylistic sets if your font has that. But the baseline shift is right here. And by default, it is zero. You can also change the columns. And by default, the baseline shift is zero. So watch what happens to my text if I change, let me zoom in, if I change the best baseline shift. So I need to select my text and then if I change the baseline shift, maybe let me just put larger numbers here like 15, you will see that the text actually raises, goes above the line, separates from the line and you know, sort of levitates on top of the line. So this can be a solution if you want to sort of show like uh, text on a hill or whatever you want to do. You can separate the text so the baseline of the text does not coincide with the baseline of the shape your text is on. Same thing for circle. If I click on this with the, the text tool, the baseline shift is here. By default, it's zero. Let's try 25. You can see my text now is raised from the circle. So it keeps um, together with the circle, uh, but it is now raised. I still retain the ability to change it, uh, change the font, take italics off or whatever. Um, and if you add underline, that's when your baseline shift is gonna be visible because your underline is gonna be in the middle of the text sometimes. I hope this is uh, very clear and uh, useful to you. And you can try and do other shapes, uh, even with the pen tool, and your text will be on it. If you need to have your text not editable anymore, and if you need it to be separated, you can actually convert it to editable shapes, but then you won't be able to change anything on your text. So I hope this video was useful. It was a quick video on how to fit text to a shape in Zara Designer Pro. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my tutorials and thank you for your time. See you next time.